So this is Nexum's basic building form. This is the R22 block. It's 12 inches wide and 12 inches high, and two feet long. There are male and female ends. There's that they key together. The insulation always goes to the outside. So the outside of the house is here. This is the inside, and the concrete will be poured in the center. They weigh about 40 pounds. When you're handling these, you're going to find it hard on your hands. Uh, wear a pair of gloves. It just keeps you going longer. So we've uh, got our first course in. We're happy with our corners, and we started laying block and heading up on each course. Um, what we want to do is start from a corner, work our way through, and choose a place where we're going to make a, our cuts. Uh, each wall will always have, likely always have a cut in it. So we brought from that corner, we came to this point, we have brought our other corner here, we're going to make our cuts here. Then we're going to start again, and we're going to make our cut go all the way down to the bottom of the next wall, and keep going all around until we come back to that corner where we started. What we're trying to do is put all of our uh, cuts in one place. And, and the reason for that is it's easy to brace, easy to remember, and we're just not all staggered. One of the things we want to be doing is thinking about uh, uh, columns of concrete. So we're thinking x-ray vision in a sense, and we want to look down through and, and, and just imagine your mind going down through these, these blocks. So we want to line those, these up. They don't have to be perfect, but we're looking for lots of structure in our concrete. Uh, to help keep our corners in place, we've uh, nailed some two by fours on and they're just as so that as we're moving block and banging the wall around it's going to keep our corners in place and keep our wall straight. You can see where we split it over the center that's just to help keep blocks level with one another but as we've come across we've got to the spot where we've chosen to make cuts um, and our bond will change. We've maintained our cavities and lots of concrete in, in our spots nothing's jamming us up so that when we've made that cut and we're ready to move on, we'll just hit it with some spray paint and it tells us where we're at. Just a mark to tell us we have to remember that. Well, this is one of the important things that we're, where we can actually run the risk of a blowout and we have to pay attention. What can happen is we've lost the integrity of our cube. You can see in this one that we've got a cube and a shape and that'll hold the concrete when it's pouring in. But here we've cut that piece out. So we've left lots of room for concrete but now we have the chance for this wall to spread. So we'll put plywood screwing it across here and across here. And we'll do that once our wall is up at the 10 foot mark and we're getting ready to pour. It's one of the last things before the pour.